Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about a variety of ways we can help our vibrato. So, we often put our finger down and then we start the vibrato. That's natural. But there are so many times when we want to have an immediate vibrato. For example, in Tchaikovsky's melody, the very first note uh, needs vibrato. So you can teach your fingers to do more of a tremble uh, as soon as they go down. And in fact, I call it tremble vibrato. And what you do is you lightly touch the string like that. But every time you go down, you do three pulses. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, you don't have to press the string all the way down to do this exercise. It's really to get the action going, right? And later on, you can do slightly firmer notes, but at the moment, no bow, and just teach your fingers how to do this. So go on to the second finger. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep it as light as you possibly can. Don't press the string all the way down. And then go to the fourth, third finger. You can hear my, the sound of the string when my finger joins and then leaves. That's absolutely fine. And so to the fourth finger. This is one of the best exercises you can do for your fourth finger, really. Very light. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So do this on all the strings so that you can get used to uh, doing it while you have to pivot for the G string and then right up to the E string. So that's a fantastic one because when you start playing, uh, you can get your vibrato in much more quickly because your fingers learn to make a vibrato action instantly. And that's what we all want, really. So that's an exercise that I use all the time just as a habit, I use my hand to do it, and I'm doing that all the time, whether I'm in a car, watching TV or whatever I'm doing. And I'm just doing that. And it just keeps the hand ready to do instant vibrato. I used to be trying to do vibrato on every single note that I played, and uh, until I realized that it really is just too much. So in order to get it under control, and to coordinate with the bow, this is a fantastic exercise where you bow like this. And the start is absolutely beautiful with just one note of vibrato at the beginning of each stroke. Then you can go on to doing, say, the last two of each four vibrato and the first two no vibrato. It's something I find quite difficult, but it's really good to control your vibrato and not just let it be uh, on every single note all the time, because um, it just loses its effect. It's a sort of magical enhancement of the note, really. So when you're putting your vibrato into practice, it's really good not to let it become an unconscious habit, but to uh, use it wisely 
um, and try to do exercises to control it. And if you really need an instant vibrato, practice the little exercise that I showed you at the beginning. It's incredibly effective and it's good for your fingers as well. So I hope you get on well with your lovely vibrato and I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye.